I'm kind of feeling sorry for myself, and I'm standing over the sidelines, and I'm huffing and I'm puffing, and I'm thinking, man, maybe I just can't play at this level. At that exact moment, I feel this large hand on my shoulder. I turn around. It's Wilt Chamberlain, <laughs> arguably the greatest basketball player who ever lived. Wilt had retired from the NBA a few years earlier, and every afternoon would come down and watch the younger players work out. Wilt grabbed me by the shoulder, spun me around, looked me in the eye, and he said, first of all, young fellow, you are never going to catch that man. <laughs> I said, thanks, Wilt. I already figured that out. And he said, more importantly, it's not your job. He said, come with me. Wilt grabbed me by the arm, took me out on the floor, positioned me right in front of the basket. He said, you see this basket? Your job is to stop players from getting there. Your job is to make them miss their shot, get the rebound, throw it up to the guard, let them go down the other end and score it, and your job is to cruise up to half court and see what's going on. <laughs> I like this part. He said, I've been watching you the past few days, and I see the skill you have at defense. This is what you need to concentrate on. This is what you need to focus on. When Wilt shared that with me, everything changed. I understood what I needed to do. I understood what I could be great at. Wilt showed me what my job was and how doing what I did would benefit my team. In that moment, I knew what I needed to focus on and what I needed to let go of. I wasn't that fast. I wasn't that good at scoring. But I did have a talent for preventing others from scoring goals. And it took a Wilt Chamberlain to see it. I stopped running around trying to do everything and instead focused on the one thing I could be great at. And I went on to become one of the great defensive players in the NBA. Four years later, that five-minute conversation took me to breaking the NBA record for the most blocked shots in a single year, 456, which is still the NBA record today. <laughs> that five-minute conversation took me to a 12-year NBA career, being named Defensive Player of the Year twice, and in 1989, I was named an All-Star. Commitment number one is no your job. How many of you are running around trying to do everything when there's really only one thing you can be great at? And if you're not doing that one thing, you're probably not succeeding. How many of us are guilty of this? We get so focused on exceeding expectations that we forget the basics. To position yourself for success, you need to narrow your focus and intensify it. To play at the top of your game, do what you do best. That's your job. What are you excellent at? What is your greatest strength? 